your, there was an anatomy book and a physiology book, both that stated something along this line, to paraphrase it, that the pineal gland is an atrophied gland of very little usage and really not even necessary to discuss. That meant that the biggest, strongest, most powerful gland in an operating body that we're now in is of very little usage and possibly. In many cases it is because it calcifies. And it calcifies any time you expose it to drugs. I didn't say to herbals. Any time you expose it to allopathic pharmaceutical drugs, you're killing and causing a war with your pineal gland. When you use homeopathic and nutraceutical products, herbs, leaves, roots, things that are natural, things that contain sunlight, now it begins to amplify and work correctly. It is the gland that lets you tan, the gland that lets you blacken, the gland that gives you your psychic ability, the gland that produces serotonin by which you can get calm under situations, can sleep at night without taking other drugs. It is a master gland that when something goes wrong in your body, it chemically organizes it, analyzes it, and then sends a direction to the pituitary gland to start mass producing all these various hormones from the various things that we do. It does not like synthetic. I will repeat that once more. It does not like synthetic anything. Synthetic things are made in a laboratory to act like what would be a natural thing. If you are a natural person, you cannot use synthetic things without an aberration, a problem, something else happening within that system. And many things are happening within our systems now that are wrong, very bad. We have genetically modified foods everywhere. We have water that is full of fluorine, chlorine, and 38 different kind of things in most of the places. And in fact, if you're coming, unfortunately, again, from the Ohio area, it has more than re the rest of it. And even in Chicago, where I come from, it probably has one of the best filtration plants around, they're still putting 38 different chemicals in to try to kill off bacteria. You have depleted uranium being given to soldiers, sailors, Marines, armed forces personnel, over there fighting in the Iraq Middle East, which by the way is inaccurate because the Middle East is where ancient Mesopotamia I was, where Sumer was, and here you have the brethren who are supposed to be coming over there to start unlocking time locks, to come over there to get in tune with the planet, over there killing each other, blowing each other up, being bitten by crabs and the desert crabs and stuff, being given 34 shots before they can return, taking them out of the picture forever, messing with their reproductive organs, their brains, over there finding a war that is not even existing because of a population who's trying to eliminate them and they don't get the picture.